السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم یو آل دا اسٹوڈنٹ فار آ کیمسٹری لیکچر ایز وی نو وی ہیو اسٹارٹیڈ ایلیمنٹس آف گروپ تھرٹین فورٹین اینڈ ففٹین دیٹ از یور چیپٹر نمبر نائن دس از آ سیون لیکچر فرام دا فار دا سک ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹڈی فسٹ دا نومیریکلس وچ از بیس آن آ پریویس لیکچر جرمینیم جی ای سی ایل فور دیٹ از جرمینیم ٹیٹرا کلورائڈ از مور اسٹیبل دین جرمینیم ڈائی کلورائڈ اوکے یا دا کوشچن از جرمینیم ٹیٹرا کلورائڈ از مور اسٹیبل دین جرمینیم ڈائی کلورائڈ وائل پی بی ڈیٹ از یور لیڈ ڈائی کلورائڈ از مور اسٹیبل دین لیڈ ٹیٹرا کلورائڈ اٹ مینس اٹ از ریورس جرمینیم ٹیٹرا کلورائڈ از مور اسٹیبل دین جرمینیم ڈائی کلورائڈ وائل لیڈ ڈائی کلورائڈ از مور اسٹیبل دین لیڈ ٹیٹرا کلورائڈ اوکے وی آر سپوز دس از دا کوشچن دس از دا اسٹیٹمنٹ وی آر سپوز ٹو ایکسپلین اٹ سو یئر از دا سولیوشن جرمینیم اینڈ لیڈ آر دا فورتھ اینڈ ففتھ period elements down the group 14 as we move down the group 14 that is your p block elements germanium belongs to fourth period while lead belongs to fifth period of the modern periodic table and both are from the same group that is your group 14 as we know the group oxidation state for group 14 is 4 For group 14, the oxidation state is 4, and the stability of other oxidation state lower by 2 unit, which increases down the group. As we have studied in a previous lecture, oxidation state. Based on that, we know that the group oxidation state is 4, and as we move down the group. the stability of other oxidation state is lower by 2 unit it means the group oxidation state is 4 we are subtracting 2 from it so 4 minus 2 we are getting the answer 2 as we are moving down the group the oxidation stable oxidation state will be plus 2 okay so the group oxidation state is 4 but the stability of other oxidation state lower by 2 unit as it increases down the group due to inert paired effect this is the reason the stability of of, of the oxidation state 2 is more in lead than in germanium as it moves down the group lead is more stable in pbcl2 form than in pbcl4 form okay student let's move further towards the next numerical nitrogen does not form nitrogen pentachloride ncl5 or nitrogen pentachloride nf5 but phosphorus can okay here nitrogen this does not form halogen compound in pentachloride form and penta fluoride form but phosphorus can we are supposed to answer the question answer the statement so here is the solution phosphorus and other members of the group can make use of d orbital in their bonding as thus compound can form metal trihalide as well as metal pentahalide okay leaving behind nitrogen here are the members of the group such as phosphorus and the other member they consists of d orbital as they consist of more atomic number they contain more number of electron as they contain more numbers of electron number of shell will be more and they consist of d orbital due to which phosphorus and other member other members of the group they make use of d orbital and thus they can form compound in mx3 form as well as mx5 form mx m means metal x means halogen metal trihalide as well as metal pentahalide 
okay whereas nitrogen cannot form nitrogen pentachloride or nitrogen pentafluoride since it is void of d orbital since it doesn't contain d orbital in its second shell okay it doesn't contain d orbital what is the atomic number of nitrogen okay it is 7 okay so it doesn't contain it contain two numbers of cell and it doesn't contain d orbital in its second shell hence nitrogen does not form nitrogen pentachloride or nitrogen pentafluoride while other members such as phosphorus of the group they can form nitrogen uh, that is your uh, metal trihalide as well as metal pentahedral let's move forwards towards allotropy what is allotropy what is the meaning of allotropy when a solid elements exists in different crystalline form okay a solid elements a solid elements is the these solid elements when it exists in different crystalline form in different state in different forms with different physical property they having different colors they having different density melting point etc the element is same suppose a carbon is there a phosphorus is there and much more elements sulfur is there much more elements uh, which consist of allotropy properties so these elements the elements is same but is exist in nature in different crystalline form in different form okay with different forms it having different physical properties such as color density melting point so when such elements which exist in different crystalline forms with different physical properties that elements is known as allotropy this phenomena this term is known as allotropy and that individual crystalline form are called allotropes suppose sulfur it having three allotropes okay so we, as the uh, uh, sorry uh, carbon it exists in three allotropic form okay but the allotrope of carbon has been deleted from the your topic for the current year so we are not going to study that we are going to study allotrope of phosphorus okay there are many elements which consist of allotropic properties and these individual crystalline form they are known as allotropes here i am repeating it again when an elements solid elements when it exists in different crystalline form with different physical properties this term is known as allotrope and that individual crystalline forms are called allotropes let's study allotropes of phosphorus phosphorus they are found in different allotropic form they are found in nature in different allotropic form the important ones being white and red phosphorus we are going to study allotrope phosphorus exists in many allotropic form okay we are going to study two allotropes of phosphorus that is your white phosphorus and red phosphorus fine first we are going to study about white phosphorus white or yellow okay white phosphorus consists of discrete tetrahedral molecule tetrahedral tetra means four okay it consists of four number of phosphorus okay so it consists of discrete tetrahedral p4 molecule and the bond form between p p and p okay a bond we are making uh, an angle and there is certain degree if we are making right angle it having 90 degree if we are making uh, acute angle it is less than 90 degree when it is we are making more uh, obtuse angle it is consist of more than 90 degree so the bond angle between p p and p okay here you see one p another p and third p so the bond angle which is formed between this p p p is your 60 degree that is your acute angle fine here you are supposed to know that white phosphorus is less stable it is not stable as it is not stable it will be more react when we as when we are less stable we react very fast we do whatever the one when we are stable we are calm okay 
so here white phosphorus is less stable due to this reason it is more reactive because of angular strain in the p4 molecule you see there is an angular strain has been formed between in the p4 molecule what is its properties it is translucent translucent means the one which allow the light to be passed from it okay any thing which allow the light to pass through it that is known as translucent but it is not transparent okay transparent which can we can see clearly okay it is not transparent it only allows the light to pass to it so your white phosphorus it is translucent white waxy solid wax like solid okay your wax you know wax the candles like so it is translucent white waxy solid it glow in dark when when the it is dark is there when you keep a uh, white phosphorus it will show light okay so it, this property is known as chemi luminescence what chemi luminescence okay so it glows in dark its next property it is insoluble in water when you dissolve white phosphorus in water it will not dissolve it is insoluble but it dissolve in NaOH solution NaOH means sodium hydroxide boiling is there the condition is there boil so it is insoluble in water but dissolve in boiling and NaOH solution that is your sodium hydroxide the next property it is a poisonous or it is toxic it is harmful fine so these are the properties that it is translucent white waxy solid it glows in dark it is insoluble in water but is all in boiling sodium hydroxide solution it is poisonous in nature we are moving forward towards our next allotropy form of phosphorus that is a red phosphorus red phosphorus consists of chain of p4 tetrahedral linked together by covalent bond yes you see one molecule of p4 that is your tetrahedral structure of phosphorus okay so one p4 is linked to the another p4 another p4 is in turns linked to the another p4 that is the tetrahedral structure of phosphorus so your one p4 is linked to the another p4 by covalent bond you know very well what is covalent bond student a bond formed between two atom by sharing of electron okay so here change of p4 tetrahedral structure will be formed in red phosphorus these p4 tetrahedral linked together by covalent bond thus hence it is polymeric in nature you see poly means many okay it is polymeric in nature what is it characteristic what is it properties it is stable and less reactive your white phosphorus that they are unstable and more reactive okay while red phosphorus is it is stable and it is less stable as it is stable it will be calm and quiet okay it is stable and less reactive it is orderless orderless means it doesn't give any smell okay it is orderless is it poses irony gray luster shiny okay you are it poses irony gray luster it doesn't glow in dark okay when we keep it in dark it doesn't glow while your white phosphorus they glow in dark you can make a distinguish between both of them okay it is insoluble in water when it, we dissolve it in uh, water it is insoluble in water it is non poisonous while your white phosphorus it is poisonous so this is the characteristic properties of red phosphorus it is state that red phosphorus is stable and it is less reactive it is orderless it possesses irony gray luster it does not glow in dark it is insoluble in water as well as it is non poisonous so for today's lecture this much is enough hope you all are studying well student study well whatever be the condition whatever be the circumstance the you are supposed to study you are supposed to gain knowledge in whatever circumstance it will build your career it will make you 
a better individual who support your who are going to support your community so study well student do your best if you are having any kind of problem any query let us solve it inshallah we will solve it till then take care students study well do your best allah hafiz thank you